Hello, everybody. There's a lot to be gloomy about these days, isn't there? But just occasionally, human ingenuity and curiosity comes up with something that changes everything. 10,000 years ago, we invented agriculture. 600 years ago, it was the printing press. 150 years ago, we created the first electric grid. And just 50 years ago, this year, the personal computer. Each of these represents a tipping point, a kink in history. The future will not be determined by straight lines and smooth curves, but by discontinuities, by hockey sticks, by tipping points, good and bad. And I think what we're coming to the conclusion here is that actually AI is probably <laughs> some such invention. And so I'm pleased to announce today that the Bezos Earth Fund is committing $100 million for a grand challenge to apply AI to real-world problems in nature and climate. And the first uh, round of competitive grants will be made in three areas. First, how do you monitor and conserve biodiversity? Second, how do you develop alternative proteins? And third, how do you digitalize the grid, especially in developing and emerging countries? And in each of these, we're looking for very, very practical problems with very practical solutions. I'll give you an example. Come to the Florida Everglades, dark of night, down there in the swamp, an invasive species, the Burmese python, is replicating rapidly and killing millions of indigenous species. Do you think AI, using its sound and sight and DNA recognition facilities, could identify a species like that, trap it in a way that doesn't hurt any other species. Or come to a bioprocessing laboratory where researchers are trying to figure out how to feed 11 billion people without damaging the environment. Do you think AI could sort through the 200 million different proteins and figure out which combinations of them would provide nutritious alternatives just as tasty as meat, but actually at one tiny fraction of the environmental damage. Or come to a country like Vietnam, which has invested hugely, actually, in renewable energy, but less than half of that renewable energy has access to the grid because the grid simply isn't smart enough or strong enough. Could AI help? Probably. There are thousands of practical questions like that and we want to play a helpful role in accumulating a portfolio of what works and what doesn't so one can dramatically replicate. So if you are on the front line solving knotty problems that are just above and beyond what the human mind can sort out, get together with some AI specialists, go to our website, meet us outside at our uh, uh, booth out there, Get to know us, we would love to work with you. Thank you very much. <clears throat>
And then the scientists of WRI met these, the, the brain researchers and says, wait a minute, we could use that. They now take it and they're applying it. And for the first time ever, they're able to see individual trees and bushes regrowing. And we now can know of the tens of thousands of projects that we and others are financing for agroforestry, we can figure out what works and what doesn't so we can know how to replicate. So there you go. Thank you, Andrew. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs>